So um, when looking at this problem, what we're asking to do is to simplify this, right? Just to rewrite this using our reciprocal identities. Now, one thing that's very helpful, um, we're going to be doing a lot of division that's going to divide things into 1 and, and you know, add and subtract things to 0. What I might want to do is rewrite this as a multiplication problem. So I can rewrite this as cosine squared of theta times 1 over cotangent squared of theta. Just like 3 over 4 is the same thing as 3 times 1 fourth. Would everybody agree with that? 3 times 1 fourth is the same thing as 3 fourths, right? Because if I can just make that to a fraction, multiply across, right? So the reason why I did this is to make it a little bit simpler for me to be able to see which trigonometric identity I'm going to want to use. And again, you can use multiple, we can use different, um, different, uh, different ways to express this. So if I have cosine squared theta times 1 over cotangent squared, well, I know I can rewrite 1 over cotangent squared as tangent squared. So I have cosine squared of theta times tangent squared of theta. Now, it still hasn't helped me out, though. I haven't really done too much that's really simplified this problem. However, I understand that I can rewrite tangent squared of theta as sine over cosine squared. So I could write cosine squared of theta times sine squared of theta over cosine squared of theta. Now, by rewriting it that way, you guys can see that these cosines are going to divide to 1. And I'm just going to be left with sine squared of theta. So that would be my simplified answer. And that's just one way to do this. There are multiple other ways. If you would have transformed this differently, you still would have got the exact same answer. Okay. Yes? Huh? The cosines divide to 1. Yes. Cosine squared divide.